Hi, I'm David Yaw Christian, co-founder of Helpology. Helpology is the study of the world's most helpful products and services. I've been doing it for 30 years. The world doesn't know about Helpology yet, but what I'm about to do is my gift to the world is I'm going to record a book I wrote in 1994 when I was 24 years old. The book is titled How to Gain Love, Respect, Happiness, Health, and Wealth. Personal Perfection of Your Mind, Your Personal Guide to Continuous Improvement by Dominic Faccini. That was my pen name back then. It was actually my legal name. My legal name was Peter Lewis Dominic Faccini. It was my middle name, Dominic, last name Faccini. But since then, I've had some changes in my life. And for personal and personal reasons, I've changed my name legally to David Yah Christian. That's D-A-V-I-D, middle name Y-A-H, last name Christian, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N. I am the co-founder of Helpology, which is the biblical and scientific study of the world's most helpful products and services. And that's available for free for anyone on YouTube. Just look up Helpology, H-E-L-P-O-L-O-G-Y. Now check this out. This recording that I'm making now, I'm reaching out to the president of the United States and every president of every country. We're trying to get this into the public schools. I'm reading this right now to try to change the education system in the world. We're trying to do this for free. We're requesting that you allow every teacher to play this video in their classroom for the students from K through 12 and then also in the higher education levels. But specifically right now, let's, we're, look, we're focusing on K through 12. I'm going to read this right now at the kindergarten level. So then anyone in kindergarten can understand it all the way up to 12th grade. And then we're also requesting that President Biden will allow all the teachers in the United States to play this video for free in their classroom. I don't want a penny from it. I'm just trying to help change our educational system and educate for free all Americans and in the rest of the world. Everyone has free rights to play this for free as much as they want. Put it on their YouTube channels, whatever you want to do with this. I give you complete copyright privilege to share this for free with anyone you want. You can convert it into your languages. Not a problem. You don't even have to ask me permission. I'm giving it right now. Here's permission. So we're about to do this and you're about to be blown away at what is in this book. This book I wrote when I was 24. I'm 52 now. The world doesn't know about it yet. This book, one person read it and well, several people read it, but one person wrote me a letter saying that he was suicidal and that the book saved his life and that he started reading it to his family and it changed everyone in his family's life. And then they had a purpose for living and excited and passionate about how to change their life. So this is my gift to the world as the co-founder of Helpology. I'm trying to help as many people as possible for free. So educators in the world, please, you may not have to, you may not be able to ask permission to do this in your classroom. You might have to go just show it to your children once and then let the, per, you know, don't say anything about it and just move on. Because if you go and ask permission, they might say, no, they're going to have to have the whole board of directors approve it. And it's never going to happen. So my advice to you is humbly, if you're trying to help your children, educate them. There's nothing in this book that I'm going to read that's going to be religious or against uh, any a group of people. There's no hate speech, nothing at all. It's totally appropriate for any age level, any age group, any group of human beings, this book is appropriate. So after you watch this, if you agree that your students have a right in their education to this information that's being made available to them for free by the co-founder of Helpology, then go ahead and just show it. You have a right to show you, you have a You have a right to show it and it's your duty as an educator. If what I say is true, then it's your duty as an educator, is it not? To open the minds up of these young ones and to teach them information that's practical, useful, helpful. Well, this book claims to teach them how to gain love, respect, happiness, health, and wealth. Now, it's a bold claim, but I know I got the goods in here, okay? It's already been proven scientifically, save someone's life, okay? So this book is helpological. That is the most helpful and simplest way that works. Let me explain Helpology real quick. Helpology, you don't have to believe in the Bible to do Helpology, but the, the, the definition of Helpology includes the Bible. But again, anyone can do Helpology. You can be an atheist. You can be an, a Satanist. Whatever you believe in, you can do Helpology. 
but this is the definition of helpology. I'm one of the co-founders, me and my fiance, Faith Yah Christian is the co-founder, me and her. The definition is very specific. It's just the way it is. I mean, but you don't have to believe in it to, to do it. In fact, you'd be very unwise not to do helpology. It's the most helpful social science. It's the most helpful science in history of mankind. It's based on Einstein. Einstein said the best design is the simplest one that works. I, I took his statement, turned it into a question that Tony Robbins taught me way back when I was doing listening to Tony Robbins. I was 18. I was listening to Tony Robbins. He said, set big goals. Do something you're excited about. That will make you jump out of bed in the morning. And I'm like, okay, I'll set a goal. I got to figure it out, though. I got to figure out an exciting goal. And I set this crazy goal when I was 18 to become the most helpful person of all time. And so when I set the goal, I didn't know what I would do, what I would look like, what it would be, and how could you even tell if I ever became it? it? Didn't matter, I just set this crazy goal. I was taking Tony Robbins' advice. Well, anyways, throughout my life, I've been doing things that get me closer and closer to potentially helping as many people as possible in the world to become actually down in history as the most helpful person of all time. Except for, you know, maybe some other people we're not gonna mention for religious purposes, but check this out. Helpology is the biblical and scientific study of the world's most helpful products and services. From the word helpology, you get helpological, just like logic, which is knowing what to do or doing the right thing or doing something that's wise or smart. Logic, you get logical. Well, listen, I'm talking to the kindergartners now. Logic is thinking clearly and doing something smart, okay? Logic, and then you get logical, that means it's like logic, it's logical. Okay, so now you got helpology is the biblical and scientific study of the world's most helpful products and services. But you could just say it's the study of what's helpful. Helpology, help, ology, help, ology, the study of help the study of what's most helpful. That's another way you could define it. So for kindergarten purposes, the little ones listening, helpology is the study of what's most helpful. And that could be anything in the world. Whatever you find out that's helpful, that would be part of the study. And you would study it and say, wow, that's good to know. Then you would tell other people about it. You would learn it yourself, use it, whatever it is, if a product or service or a TV show or a video on YouTube, or something on TikTok, Instagram, whatever. But again, I'm going to speak to the kindergartners and then all the adults that are listening will understand also. Okay? So little kitties, helpology is the study of what's helpful. And it's not just that. It's the study of what's most helpful. Not just what's pretty good, kind of good for me, better than other stuff. No. What's most helpful. And that study, you'll never be finished with. You're always going to learn new things, exciting things each day. You're going to be like, whoa, I just learned something that's more helpful than what I thought was the most helpful thing I'm doing. For example, toothpaste, everybody brushes their teeth, even little kids, right? So you find out this one toothpaste that you've been using for 20 years has something in it that's maybe not as good for you as this other natural one. And then you find out this other natural toothpaste is, you know, better for your teeth, makes them whiter like these. You know, you want teeth like these? You might want to find out what toothpaste I'm using. But anyway, just Google it. You'll find out. Uh, well, I don't know if you'll find that out, but I'm, you'll find out your own. Listen, you don't want to do what I'm doing. I'm different than you. Helpology, everybody has to do it themselves. So remember, as a kindergartner, you're going to become your own helpologist. Whoa, that's a big word. Hold on. It's not that big of a word. A helpologist is just someone who does helpology. You're a helpologist. So my goal is to help educate the whole world to where the kindergartners and on up, but let's just focus on the kitties. I want all the kindergartners to become helpologists in their mind. How do they do it? Oh, that's gonna to be too complex. No, it's not. You don't know what helpology is yet. Stop talking before, don't assume anything. Educators, teachers, everybody, listen, you don't know yet. Don't assume you know. Helpology, even a child can do it. It was created on purpose that way. So, thank you. I 
Appreciate that. Now listen, little kitties, helpology is the study of what's most helpful. Okay? That's easy to remember, right? Your mommy and daddy want to help you. And then when they bring you stuff, good food, they help you have nice sleep, nice bed, nice clean clothes. They're bringing to you and they're giving you and providing for you. They're loving you, giving you hugs and kisses. This is all part of helpology. All of this is the study of helpology. So, but you're going to notice, hey, mommy and daddy, they're doing that for me now. They're doing helpology for me because I'm too young to do it the way they are. I can't go and make the money yet to buy the products and services to give to me, but they're doing it. So mommy and daddy are already doing helpology. They just don't call it that yet. They will. This is going to become well known throughout the world. It will become a household name like Coca-Cola or Pepsi. Helpology is destined for that because it's that helpful. It's going to be that important for everyone to know. If you're not doing helpology, you will be left behind. In the information age, you will not be able to keep up with those that are doing helpology, period, point blank. So you might as well get this to the kindergartners now. And President Biden, please do whatever you can to get authority and permission to give all the educators in this country flat out permission to show this video. That's all. Just some, just one video, one time. That's it. But then, you know, give them permission if they want to restudy this video. But they're, all they're going to need is this one video. You don't need a curriculum you need to buy from me. You don't need other books or pamphlets or anything. This is all free. So President Biden, you can go down in history as the president of the United States of America that influenced the educational system for good. Or you can choose to ignore it. It's up to you. But that ball is in your court, sir. By the way, this will go to the kindergartens, whether you approve it or not. Educators will be doing this behind your back out of a duty to those innocent little children to make sure they learn. So you might as well approve it, right? And you might as well get a approval. You might as well approve it so then you don't look like you're trying to hold back what the kids need. So again, this needs to be shown in the board of directors and in your presidential meetings. You need to discuss this real quick and just say, yes, let's do it. Watch the video. You'll see there's nothing in here that is going to be religious or uh, personal beliefs of mine that are going to, you know, cause a mind to, to think things. So just listen, this is common sense, wisdom, knowledge, simple stuff. It's common sense, really. It's put in a book. So it was written specifically for young people, kindergartners and up. So here we go. This is going to be exciting. You're going to have the time of your life. Now, listen, I don't expect you to believe anything I'm saying. In fact, don't believe a word David Yah Christian says. Just listen with an open mind. Over time, if I say anything that doesn't make sense, just be like, that's not true. That don't make sense. If I, keep go if I keep saying things that make sense, well, then what? Logically or common sense, you would just say, okay, so far, so good, right? Okay, so little kitties, we're going to study helpology today. But we're not going to study helpology in detail. We're going to make it simple for you kitties to understand, okay? So raise your hand if you want to learn helpology today. I know I do. Yeah. Okay, I see some hands. Come on, put them all up. Put them all up. Don't you want to learn what's most helpful? Come on, don't be stubborn. Look, if you don't want to learn what's most helpful, then what are you, what are you, th what are you thinking? Whatever's helpful, you're going to learn what's most helpful? Come on, common sense. Say, yeah, okay. Finally, everybody's hands are up. I'm not going to start. Nope. I'm not starting until everybody's hands are up. I see you in the back there playing games. Don't play games with me. You're going to play games with the founder of Helpology. I'm going to come back there and get you. No, I'm just playing. Okay, so finally put your hand up. Thank you. Okay, so now we're ready. All the hands are up. You can put your hands down. Thank you. Now, my hands are way up high. Look, my hands are way in the sky high because I'm so excited to teach and share with you my life's work. I've been studying for 30, 40 years to try to help everybody, and this book is pretty good. I'm not saying it's that great, but it's going to be kind of helpful. So let's learn. Let's see. It did save someone's life. They told me that this book saved their life. They were going to kill themselves. They were so sad and depressed, but they read this book and they said it made them want to live. So it's scientifically proven to work. We just not on a large scale yet. So let's see if it, let's do a scientific test for our country, for America. Let's see if we can improve America together, starting with the kindergartners. Listen, you guys in the, in the audience there, you guys could help change America. By learning this stuff, learning helpology, learning this book, how to gain love, respect, happiness, health, and wealth, 
And then when you start doing your education, your teachers are going to say, look how smart these kids are. Look at their, what they're doing. Look at they're getting so creative. They're so excited about learning. They're excited about learning. What's going on? That's what's going to happen. I guarantee it. Listen, I know what I have here, okay? I'm going to build this up because I got the goods. If I build this up and this book sucks, dude, come on. That's going to be terrible, right? So I'm doing this because I want you to get, for one, I want you to get your attention. Everybody's attention here? Okay, listen. We're going to go like this. When I say hands and eyes, you go hands and eyes. Okay, real simple. I say, hands and eyes. You go, hands and eyes. Okay, so let's practice. Hands and eyes. Hands and eyes. Good job. Okay, one more time. We'll do two more times. Hands and eyes. Good job. Hands and eyes. Very good. One more time. Hands and eyes. Thank you. Now stay like that. Pay attention. Now, you can put your hands down, but when I say hands and eyes throughout the teaching, then you do that. Hands and eyes. It means I want you to focus, pay real close attention to what I'm about to say. I might forget to say it, but if I do say it, just hands and eyes. You know what it means, okay? But if throughout, I might just say, pay close attention. Listen now. Listen carefully, little ones. This is very important. Mommy and daddy are going to be very happy and proud of you when you do this. Okay? But sometimes I'm going to say, hands and eyes. Okay, good job. I'm so proud of you guys. Look at everybody standing up, listening. This is exciting, isn't it? An American wrote this book and now wants to share it with you for free as a kindergartner. What's in this book? I got to tell you, it's something in here. There's something in here based on 30 years of research. I read more than 500 self-help books before I wrote this one. And so there's a lot of information. I just simplified it so everyone can understand. Very simple, easy to understand, little ones. Don't worry. It's not hard. It's simple. Even a kindergartner can get it. So then all the adults will get it too. That's easy. But for you little ones, sometimes we got to make it simple, 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 right? So it don't go over the head, right? Okay, so this is done already. And if I get to anything in here that's too hard, I'll just explain it so you can understand it, okay? So don't worry about that. Let's have some fun. We're going to have fun learning right now. Okay? Now, I know as little ones, you love to learn. It's just natural. You bounce around. I'm going to learn something. Now, the adults around you might not be like this, but you are. So let's stay that way, right? Throughout our whole life. Okay? Let's stay as a little child where we're learning all the time. What's going to be more helpful today? I know what's most helpful so far. Specific products services, things my mommy and daddy buy that I believe are most helpful. But what if there's something even more helpful out there? I'm going to discover it. That's what we want to do as a, as a helpologist. When you do helpology, you're going to study and helpfulness, what's most helpful. You're going to discover things out there to buy that are more and more helpful for you, okay? Throughout your whole life. You'll never, ever be done with this study. This study is not designed to ever be finished. I've been doing it for 30 years, and I feel like I'm just getting started. Okay? So check this out. We're going to get to the book soon, but I want to make sure we understand what's going on here. Helpology is the study of what's most helpful. Say that with me, class. Helpology is the study... Very good. Of what's most helpful. Good job. Well, that's easy. Everybody understands it. Raise your hand if you have no idea what we're talking about. It just doesn't make sense yet. See, no hands. Everybody understands. This is so simple. A kindergartner can get it. Pay attention, educators. Pay attention, President Biden. This is so simple. A kindergartner can understand it. So what does that say about the adults that hear this video? If they pay attention and listen through the whole thing, they're going to understand it as well. Common sense would tell you that. So kindergartners, let's keep going. This exciting, what we're about to learn, by the way, you don't have to watch this all in one time. Let the students watch it throughout. It might take a week, a month. I don't know how much time you got class availability and how, how long you're going to keep their attention before you got to take a break and go, you know, restroom breaks and food and all that. So 
the, the video is yours to use at as much as you want, as long as you want, as many times as you want for free. This is my gift. Well, this is our gift, me and my fiance, Faith. It's our gift to America to give back to what we were so blessed with when we grew up. We had, well, I did. She was in the Philippines anyway. My fiance, that's the woman I'm going to marry, she lives in the Philippines. It's a different country, far away, 12 hours difference. She's 12 hours time difference, like way on the other side of the world. So, but her and I are going to get married when we're, when we, when we are able to. And um, Faith and I are giving this to you as a free gift. So think of it like Christmas or whatever you want to think about your birthday coming early, okay? It's our gift to you. Why? Because we love you. We care about you. We care about America. We care about our freedoms and our ability to compete with the world. We want to be make sure that we're smarter than the other countries, doing better, creating more. And our children are learning this stuff at a young age, so they grow up as doing helpology. So then other countries say, what's going on? How come we're not doing helpology? And then they do helpology. We want everyone in the world to be doing this so then we make the world a better place, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, here we go. Thank you. Now we're going to do this. Helpology is the study of what's most helpful. Now, why do we keep repeating things? Because Tony Robbins, a great teacher of mine, one, probably one of, the, one of the best teachers I've had in my whole life. This man taught me repetition is the mother of skill. Now, listen, little ones. What that means is if you want to get good at something really good, you got to repeat it over and over and over and never say, I'm going to stop doing it. You just keep repeating it. You get so good at it. A basketball player, you ever see them play basketball on TV? They're pretty good, huh? Some of them are really good, eh? Well, guess what? When they practice, did you know they shoot the ball in the hoop 300 times a day? <laughs> three, three. I can't even count that high. I'll forget, you know, but they count 300 hoops. They shoot that ball 300 times a day, some of them more, some of them less, but about 300 times a day to practice, to be that good. Now, you didn't know that, but now you know. Repetition is what makes you really good at something. So that's why we're going to keep repeating. We want to know the definition of helpology. It's the most helpful science in history. It's going to be the most practical, useful, helpful, exciting, fun, enjoyable thing we can do. We're going to want to know very clearly what it is. Okay, that's why we're going to review it over and over again. So again, helpology is the study of what's most helpful. Okay. Now, helpological comes from the word helpology. Helpological is real simple. The word sounds complicated, but it's not. Watch this. Helpological is the most helpful and simplest way that works. Let me say that again, it's real simple. Helpology is the study of what's most helpful. Helpological is the most helpful and simplest way that works. That's all it is. So, so you can just be able to say, oh, I do helpology. What I'm looking for is what's helpological. I want to discover, learn, find out what's the most helpful and simplest way that works to do whatever I'm trying to do. Whether it's brushing your teeth, preparing a meal, showering, dressing, going to the store, buying anything, going online, looking at videos, whatever you do, anything in life. Helpology is the study of what's most helpful for you as an individual. You're going to have to discover on your own what it is. You're going to have mommy and daddy help you, but you're going to always have to decide what's most helpful based on what you like, what's your favorite color, what's your favorite flavor. So you see, helpology, you have to do it yourself. The only way to do helpology is each individual has to do it themselves. And there's one thing we do with helpology. It's very simple. We ask and answer the helpology question. So that's all it is. It's one step. This science or this study or this learning process or this discovery process is one step. But you do the same step over and over again for the rest of your life. You will never be able to count how many times you ask and answer this question. Now, this question is very important. 
I'm gonna share with you how I discovered it because it was pretty awesome. Einstein, he was a really smart guy, okay? I mean, you might have heard of him. His name was Einstein, Albert Einstein. He said, the best design is the simplest one that works. Very simple statement. He's saying, you know, when you make something, I say you want to make uh, something in your, in your class, a project. Let's say you're going to put together something. They say, hey, we're going to make a statue or we're going to build something out of clay. Well, he says this, when you go to build that clay, the best design of that clay is the simplest one that works. So you wouldn't want to make it too many parts. They could break. If you make it too complicated, it might dry out and fall apart, right? So he's saying, look, if you do something with clay, the best design or the best way to make it is to make it the simplest way that works. So you'd want to be, well, what do I want to, what do I want to create? Well, you get to decide when you do clay, whatever you're trying to make, you make it. But make sure when you make it, you keep it simple enough so it doesn't get to where the pieces are so many, then it starts to dry out and fall apart. Does that make sense? Okay. So, and then, but that applies to anything and anything. Now, so if Einstein said the best design is the simplest one that works, then what I did was Tony Robbins taught me that we think by asking and answering questions. No, no one ever taught us that in school yet, but we're gonna learn right now because most people don't realize what's going on here. Whenever we think, we're asking a question and then we answer it. That is the process of thinking. So when someone says, now everybody got to think about this, that means you're going to start asking yourself a question and they may give you the question and then you ask it and then you come up with the answer. Does that make sense? So when we think, we ask a question or someone else asks us the question and then we answer it and then we tell them about it, right? So that's the process of thinking. So now you know like the secret to thinking is to ask good questions. And we're gonna give you, I'm gonna share with you what I believe to be the most helpful and simplest question that works to solve any problem, any problem in your life for the rest of your life starting now. And why do I say that? Sounds like a pretty another bold claim. David, yeah, Christian, you got all these bold claims about it's the most helpful. Well, guess what? By definition, it is the most helpful and simplest way that works. I'll prove it to you right now. The helpology question is very simple. It is exactly this. And you want to memorize this and you want to say it over and over again. You want to ask it all the time, but don't worry. You'll get it eventually. I'm probably say it so many times you'll remember it. Repetition is the mother's skill. Remember that? So don't get bored. Don't be like, I already heard that. No, you haven't heard it enough. Did you shoot the basketball 300 times yet? then stop saying that, okay? If you didn't shoot the basketball 300 times yet, then you're not done for the practice for that one day. So if you didn't hear the helpology question like 10 times that day, or if you didn't ask it like 100 times and answer it and make your life better, then you're not doing helpology. You're being lazy. Stop it. You're better than that. You do other things really good. Play those video games, right? Hours and hours and hours. You watch TV, cartoons. Hundreds and hundreds and thousands of hours your whole life but none of it teaches you what's most helpful. You're getting most helpful entertainment. Yes, you're having fun, yes. But is it teaching you how to make your teeth whiter? Is it teaching you how to sleep better at night? Is it teaching you how to eat better food? Whatever it is, okay? You're gonna learn that with Helpology. You're gonna study it on your own and discover it yourself. I'm not gonna teach you anything except the Helpology question. And that is this. Remember, Einstein said the best design is the simplest one that works. So I took his statement. I turned it into a question. I turned the word best into most helpful. Then I turned it into a question and it goes like this. What's the most helpful and simplest way that works? That's it. That's the helpology question. And what we do to make it simpler, even we call it H. It's just the H. So whenever you want to know H, that's just the helpology question. H, it's like H question mark. That's the helpology question. But we write it down, me and my fiance, me and Faith, we'll write it down with a little case, lowercase H, 
and a question mark. And you're like, well, what's that? H question mark. H? It's like this. H, huh? H, huh? No, that's not what it says. It's H question mark means the helpology question. So you don't have to write it out each time. Get it? Oh, not see. Some of you are getting it. Some of you are fast, fast learners. Look at you. Okay, so H, H question mark is not H, huh? H, what is it? No, it's not that silly. It sounds like that at first until someone tells you and teaches you what it is. It's very simple. H question mark is the helpology question. So from now on, if I just say H, you know, what's H? What's H? What's H? What is H? That's like saying, what is the helpology question? What is the answer to the helpology question? But instead of saying that whole thing out each time, we just say, what's H? What is H? Do you know what H is for that? I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out. Let me ask. What's the most helpful and simplest way that works for me to read this book to you? I've thought a lot about that. And some of the answers I got was to read it slow, to make sure I smile, make sure I'm excited, make sure I'm passionate, excited about what I'm doing, make sure that I really care about you and that I'm not faking it. Well, these things all come naturally to me and you probably can tell that, but I'm just letting you know, this is how you get answers to, the, to H, okay? H, what's the most helpful and simplest way that works? And we can talk about that later. I want to get into this book, okay? But again, you need to know the helpology question. You need to know H because that's all you need to do helpology is H. Just understand this. You don't need to study anything else. You don't even need to know the definition of helpology. <laughs> you don't even need it, which is the study of what's most helpful, but you don't even need to know that. You just need the helpology question. You don't need to know what helpological is. You don't need to know what a helpologist is, which I didn't even tell you that. We're not even, ex okay, a helpologist is someone who studies what's most helpful. Come on, that's easy, right? Raise your hand if that was difficult. A helpologist, repeat after me, a helpologist is someone who studies what's most helpful. See, everyone in the class got it. That was easy. Sounds like a big word though, doesn't it? Helpologist. But anyways, it's not hard. This is easy. Everyone's getting it so far, right? Good. Now we go like this. Helpology, the study of what's most helpful. Helpological, the most helpful and simplest way that works. Helpologist, one who studies what's most helpful. That's it. Okay, not hard at all. But you know, you tell that to an adult, I'm gonna teach you what helpology is, what helpological is, and what a helpologist is. They're like, ah, I don't wanna know. It sounds too complicated. Dude, a kindergartner can get it. Stop it, don't assume. This is not like your typical science. It's not hard. I created this science, me and Faith, to be easy, simple, easy, fun, exciting, okay? That way you can apply science to your life and it won't even feel like science. It'll just be like you're having fun. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. You're gonna be having fun learning, doing helpology. And our country is gonna change. Everything, everyone in the school system is gonna start learning a whole bunch. They're gonna get real excited about learning again. They're gonna be very creative. They're gonna look forward to going to school each day. How many here wanna look forward to going to school every day instead of feeling like, oh, I gotta go to school again? <laughs> Don't you want to be like, I get to go to school. We're going to do helpology in school, ma. Raise your hand if you want to do that each morning instead of, oh, ma, I'm sick. Oh, I can't go to school today. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you this gift. I call it, me and Faith call it helpology. But when you learn it, you're going to be like, this is just, it should have been done a thousand years ago. I don't know why it wasn't, but anyway, here it is now. There's no excuse. You got it now. So forget about the past. No one else did it. Who cares? We got it now. It's going to change the world. It's going to change America, but you got to just have fun doing it. Is that simple enough? Okay, here we go. Now, again, I'm going to read this book. I'm going to read it slow. You're probably going to need to take bathroom breaks. Teacher's probably going to have to shut the video off. Pick it up tomorrow. It might take you a whole month. 
It might take you six months. I don't know. It depends how much time you got each day. It depends if President Biden gives a permission to the teacher to teach it or not. If President Biden says, oh, no, you can't teach that, then the teachers, I advise you to actually just show it, show it behind everyone's back because you have a duty to teach students this stuff. This information is a birthright to every American. Just like the United States Constitution gives us certain liberties, Helpology is, is, it was created in America by an American for Americans. So once you learn it, you're going to see, your mind's going to say, common sense, every American should have this starting at kindergarten and up. And then do your duty and make sure that they hear it just once. After that, you just pretend it never happened, okay? But hopefully, President Biden, hopefully you'll say, permission granted. Thank you. Thank whoever you want to thank, you know, but don't thank me. I'm doing this as a free gift. This is just because it's part of my goal. Remember my goal when I was 18 to become the most helpful person of all time. So I'm just doing part of my goal. I'm working toward that. So I have to do this to help everybody or I won't be the most helpful person of all time. So that's why I'm doing it. It's for selfish reasons, really. I want to be the most helpful person. So I'm trying to help as many people as possible. And you got to do that for free. And you got to do it in the way I'm doing it, where you read it to kindergartners and you go slow, right? Raise your hand if you need it a little slower sometimes. Don't be shy. It's okay. Me too. I'm the same way. And I'm the founder of Helpology, okay? I need it slow sometimes. I got to slow down. I didn't get that first time. I got to hear it again. Oh, good, he's saying the definition again. I need it like 10 times. Helpology is the study of what's most helpful. Okay, now we're going to read the book. Not going to read the book over and over again. This We're going to go through it once, okay? But then the teacher might have you watch it again. I don't know. It's up to the educator. When you're a teacher, if you said, I didn't get it the first time, please, can you show us again? Then let them know. And then maybe they'll let, you know, maybe they'll find the time to do it again. But I don't know. But all I know is if I was a kindergarten student like you and my teacher shared with me this information, I would just be so excited about coming to school each day. I would want to keep studying that over and over again. I'd want to write papers on it. I'd want to make projects about it. I'd want to make charts about it and teach everybody about it. So this is what I'm going to give you the opportunity to potentially have that happen in your classrooms and get excited about learning again. But I can only do so much. All I can do is give this to you for free. But then the adults around you, it's going to be up to them. And if they decide not to, that's okay. Not a problem. It's their choice. All I know is I'm doing what I can to help America. And I'm doing it for free. And I'm making it so the kindergartners can understand it. What the adults choose to do, if they want to not do it, that's, up, that's, on, that's their responsibility, not mine. Right? Okay, here we go. How to gain love respect, happiness, health, and wealth. Now that's a picture of me when I was 24. My pen name means I wrote it when I was, I went, my name I used when I wrote it. That's what a pen name is when you're writing with the pen, the name you use, pen name. So my pen name was Dominic Faccini. That's my birth name. I was born... Peter Louis Dominic Faccini. Okay, so my birth name was Peter Louis Dominic Faccini. So I used my middle name Dominic, my last name Faccini, and that's when I wrote the book. And then later in life, I came into certain beliefs and it changed my belief and I changed my name for personal reasons. Now my name, and it has been legally changed for, for a while. My, my legal name is David Christian, but I put the name Yah in the middle for personal reasons. So my name is David Yah Christian. So you want to remember that because you're going to, someone's going to ask, you know, who did you learn helpology from? You want to be able to say, I, you don't want to say, I forgot who. No, we're going to teach you the name real quick. David, like King David, or, you know, just the popular name David. There's, you know, popular names, David, Michael, whatever. David, okay? We don't want to say, you know, like out of certain writings because we're not trying to make this about anything but just basic stuff. So David, can you remember David? Okay. Now David is spelled D-A-V-I-D. Just to make sure you all get it so you know how to spell it. So I'm going to say it again and follow with me. Just say it after me. I'll say D and then you say D and then A. D, 
Very good. A, mm -hmm. V, uh -huh. I, D. Very good. D A V I D. David. That's my first name. David. Okay. Middle name. It's not a common middle name, but it's spelt and pronounced Ya. So, middle name is Y. Say after me. Y A H. Ya. Okay. David Ya. Now, the last name is tricky. We hear this name a lot, and there are a lot of people that are this, but the last name's Christian, but it's hard to spell. And I get about half the people that talk to me, they say, oh, Mr. Christensen. And I'm like, oh, no, my name is not Christensen. <laughs> so don't be no, surprised if it's confusing. It's a difficult word. So we're going to learn it real quick. Just so, you, just so you know how to spell my name. That's all it is for. We just want to make sure you know how to spell the name of the person who is going to help you for free become and learn how to study what's most helpful, helpology, and how to become a helpologist to be able to study what's most helpful, someone, one who studies what's most helpful, and who taught you what is helpological. Not just logical. See, the word logical means it's smart to do. Something is logical if it was smart. Helpological is the most helpful and simplest way that works. It's very specific. Okay, don't worry if you don't remember that one. It might take a while. And again, you don't have to remember any of this. Just, just have fun learning and over time you'll get it through repetition. And then also you just want to remember the helpology question or H. And we'll review that real quick. H. In fact, let's do this. Remember? Hands and eyes. Repeat after me. H. Question mark. Is. The. Helpology. Question. Very good. So, you can put your hands down now. H, question mark. H is the helpology question. So, for whenever I just say H, you'll know what that means. The helpology question. That way, I don't have to keep saying it. The helpology question this. The helpology question that. Did you ask the helpology question? Instead, I just say, did you H? Did you ask H? Okay. Now, Remember, the helpology question is really simple. It's not hard. And this is how you think with, you're going to use this to think with on everything you do. And then you're doing helpology. Very simple. What's the most helpful and simplest way that works? Let's look at that again. You're going to find out what's most helpful first. So, for example, if you're going to say, how do I get my teeth white? How do I make sure I don't get those cavities? So my, I got to go to the dentist and get them pulled out. Oh my gosh. How do I avoid that pain? I don't want to go to the dentist. How do I avoid that? What's the most helpful way to avoid the dentist? First, the most helpful way would probably be something like this. There's a lot of ways you could do it, but here's one way. Brush your teeth twice a day. Use a good toothpaste. Let your mommy and daddy help you find out what that is. You know, which one is the most helpful for you? Maybe it's one that tastes good to you. I don't know. It's between you, mommy and daddy, to decide. I don't have the answer for you because it's going to be different for each person. That's why helpology has to be done by you. You're going to say, well, what's the most helpful way for me to avoid getting those darn cavities and having to go to the dentist? You and mommy are going to decide. You and mommy and daddy are going to say... If you have a mommy and daddy, I'm sorry if you don't, but if you have mommy and daddy or one or the other or both, you ask them, say, mommy, daddy, what's the most helpful way for me not to have to go to the dentist? And they're going to say, that's a great question, son or daughter. And they're going to say, well, I would suggest that you brush your teeth twice a day and you floss and you use a good toothpaste. And that's about it. That's all you got to really do. So 
start doing it. If you're probably already doing it, but if you're not, then start doing it. If you're like, oh, you know, I only brush once a day. Well, you should probably do twice. You're missing out 50% half the time. So you want to avoid the dentist. You don't want to get cavities. You want the pain. Oh, yee! I got a little one right here right now starting to hurt. And you know, it's not good because I wasn't doing everything I was supposed to. So just because I know better doesn't mean I do it. See, there's a difference between what we call knowledge and wisdom. Knowledge is knowing what to do. Wisdom is doing what you know. Let me say that again. Knowledge is knowing what to do. For example, brush your teeth. We know what to do. That's knowledge. We have knowledge of brushing our teeth. That's good to do. We know that. We have that knowledge. Wisdom will be when you actually do it. Then you'll be saying, hey, I'm wise. Wisdom is doing what you know. So you might know to brush your teeth. That's knowledge. And they say knowledge is power, okay? You're going to learn this growing up. Knowledge is power. They got it on big buildings when you go to colleges and universities. Knowledge is power. That's not true. I'm telling you it's not. It's only potential power. Knowledge is maybe power. Knowledge is perhaps going to be power. Knowledge is potential power. If you do the knowledge, then it's power. It's wisdom. But knowledge is only potential, maybe going to happen power, right? How many of you know what to do and you don't always do what you know? I'm the same thing. This is common, okay? This is everybody in the world. We all know what to do certain things. We know it'd be better to go for a walk every day for our health, right? Instead of watch TV all day, eat junk food all day, or eat some health food and lots of junk food, right? And then uh, we know it'd be better to go outside and play around, um, get our exercise in and stuff, maybe go for a walk, maybe play a game and stuff. But instead, oh, I don't feel like going out today. I'm going to just watch TV. We all do it. This is not a surprise. Everybody knows it. So this is the difference between knowledge, knowing what to do, and wisdom, doing what you know. So that's what Helpology is going to help you do, actually. Helpology is going to help you go from knowledge to wisdom. You're going to be young and wise. People are going to say, wow, they're so smart. How'd they get to be so smart? And then you just have to say, Helpology, Google it. Get it? Because there's a YouTube channel called Helpology that's got, it's got 25,000 videos. Let me say that again. It's got more than 25,000 videos on Helpology YouTube channel. Okay, there's no one else in the world that I've done the research, okay? I research, use, and recommend the world's most helpful videos on Helpology YouTube channel. And I've seen most of the ones in the world and none of them got 25,000 videos. But what I do is I put in a playlist you know, a list on the videos. I put everybody else's videos in them. I'm not making these videos. I'm putting everyone else's. I'm taking the best, most helpful videos in the world on YouTube. How many's watch YouTube in here? How many loves YouTube? Uh-huh. How many loves YouTube for kids? Yeah, everybody. Of course. Yeah, everything's on there, man. You know, YouTube has become the world's uh, university or learning center. It's everyone's learning on YouTube and they're learning what we call edutainment. Okay. You're getting educated, but you're getting entertained at the same time. Kind of like I'm doing for you. I'm keeping you entertained, right? Not, I'm not that funny, but I'm just funny looking. <laughs> okay. So listen, you want, you're used to it. You grew up always watching Sesame Street or whatever you watch cartoons and you were learning as you were having fun. So that's what we want to do whenever we teach, even as adults. We want to figure out how to teach adults to be having fun when they're learning. And that's what Helpology does. When you watch Helpology videos as an adult, you're going to be like, wow, this is fun. Because I put all sorts of videos in there. I put, a, I put little short videos that are stand-up comedians in between whatever I'm trying to share with you. And, oh, it's just fun. It's self-defense. People learn how to defend themselves real quick in like, two, in like 30 seconds. How a woman can defend themselves from a man and all these things. I mean, it's all very educational, but it's entertaining. It's fun. It's funny. 
You're going to laugh. You're going to have fun. You're going to enjoy. You're going to be excited about doing Helpology. This is the, the beauty of Helpology. It's nothing like the world's ever seen before. You're going to get addicted to it. In fact, that's what experts are saying is that Helpology is fun, entertaining, and addictive, say experts. So check this out. Here we go. Helpology. We're going to finish. We're going to start the book one of these days. I'm reading Mr. David. Yeah, Christian. Aren't we going to start the book over there? Can we start the book, please? Yes, I know. But listen, I can't just start the book. Then you'll miss the most important thing. You don't even need the book. You just need the Helpology question. Okay? That's all you need. If you use the Helpology question every day, all day long, what's the most helpful and simplest way that works? You'll be thinking like Einstein. Yeah. The genius. Because Einstein said the best design is the simplest one that works. And you're going to be taking that statement, turning it into a question and thinking with it all day long. You're going to be like little Einsteins. Everybody in the classroom, little Einsteins going, Ooh, what's the most helpful and simplest way that works to solve every problem in our country? To make it to where we don't have to spend money on gas and what would be the most helpful and simplest way that works to starve, I mean, to stop anyone from going hungry in the world, to solve hunger. What about what's the most helpful and simplest way that works to stop homelessness? You guys are going to be the ones figuring it out. You're the young generation. It's your responsibility as you grow up to help us older folks that we haven't figured out yet. We've been trying, okay? Listen, we've been trying. We've been trying to solve world hunger. We've been trying to solve homelessness. It's not easy, okay? We've been trying. We haven't figured it out yet. Maybe you'll figure it out with the Helpology question. Maybe you'll figure it out. Maybe you won't. I don't know. At least try, please. Please try for us. We want the world to be a better place. Every adult's always said that. They all tell me the same thing. I don't know. What do you want to do with you? I don't know what I want to do, but I just love helping people. Have you ever heard that? Has anyone ever told you that? What do you want to do with your life? Mom, dad, what do you guys want to do? What do you, what, you lost your job. What are you going to do? I don't know what job I want to get into, but I just, I love to help people. Okay, that's good. So what are you going to do? I don't know, but I, I love to help people. I hear that all the time. I love to help people. Well, guess what? Now you got Helpology. You're going to have Helpology. You can help people by saying, go to the Helpology YouTube channel. And they're going to learn how to help themselves and they're going to give you credit for it. They're going to say, wow, you helped me by just telling me about it. So you want to help people now? Nowadays, if you want to help people, all you got to do is say, uh, Google Helpology. <laughs> That's easy, right? Google Helpology. It's on YouTube. But you don't even have to know that. If you Google it, you'll find out. In fact, I don't want to go into it, but I got, me and Faith have two YouTube channels. Two Helpology YouTube channels. I'm just going to talk about the basic one, Helpology. That one is for beginners to start out with. And then we had a more advanced one. It's like for like college, education, university level type of thinking and learning. But we don't want to get into that. We'll just keep it simple for you kitties, right? But just know this, the rest of your life, no matter how long you live, unless they shut down YouTube, you're going to be able to study Helpology for free on YouTube. You're going to have fun. You're going to learn about almost every subject you can think of. Because I just kept keep popping in all these videos. Bop, 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 bop. That's what I do for a living, you know. I'm going to research, use, and recommend the world's most helpful YouTube videos. And uh, I have fun doing it. I learned so much. I don't even have time to watch all the videos. I... So anyways. So have, you want to help someone when you grow up? You want to maybe become a helpologist? Well, just start your own YouTube channel. Put a playlist together. Go study my stuff. Go study what me and Faith are doing and do something similar with your YouTube channel and then monetize it and you'll make money. Um, but you'll have to make your own videos if you want to monetize it. But like there's ways to make money without monetizing a video, but that's advanced. You know, let's keep it simple. We're just still trying to learn. Please, David, yeah, Christian, I'm just still trying to learn what Helpology is. Don't tell me how to become a millionaire yet. I'm only in kindergarten, <laughs> right? Okay, but listen, you're going to be able to become a millionaire if you want to. Because Helpology will make you that smart. You're going to, guess what? When you watch the YouTube channel, Helpology, you're going to be learning from millionaires and billionaires. There's videos from these people telling us their secrets. That's what Helpology puts you in that position where you're going to be learning from billionaires. You don't get that in school, do you? 
How many of your teachers are billionaires, make billion? It, you know, and you don't expect them to. You know, they work hard. They love you. They're sacrificing their whole life to teach you. And now they got Helpology and they're going to be able to help you learn how to help yourself with the Helpology question. And then you're going to go off on your own and you're going to study on YouTube Helpology and you're going to maybe become a millionaire or a billionaire. But it's going to take a lot of hard work. I'll tell you what, you don't become that wealthy overnight. Look, it took me 30 years to do Helpology. I mean, 18, I'm 52. You calculate it. Boop, 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 boop. Long time. And I'm finally sharing with you the book I wrote in 1994. It's 2022 right now. It's hard work, okay? But I have fun doing it, so it doesn't seem like work for me. Um, I'm excited about it. I'm loving it. I have fun doing it. For me, Helpology is the ultimate study of anything. I had to create it because it didn't exist yet. But now I'm giving it to you. Free gift for you, for all of America. And I'm hoping that other countries will... You got, I've given permission to the whole world. You can convert it to your language, have someone, you know, change it into their language, put it in their schools for free. Total copyright permission for the whole world. Could you imagine everybody in the classroom? Could you imagine if the whole world learned what I'm about to share with you and then did it? Everyone in the world, kindergartners on up, the whole world would change in, a, in a, like a year. So anyways, let's have, let's see what, come on, you keep saying there's good stuff in this book. I don't believe it yet. Don't believe it. If it's so good, I'd know about it right now. If it was so good, that everyone would be talking about it. Oh, well, they will be. I haven't done it yet. I haven't read this for everybody yet, so slow down. I know I got the goods. I wouldn't be so bold and, and you say this stuff unless the goods were here. I already know the goods are here, remember? It saved someone's life already. He was gonna kill himself, he was so sad, and then he read this book and he said, I, it saved my life. So let's see what's in here. Now, again, it's gonna take a while to study this. I'm gonna read it slow. It's kind of, you know, a lot here, but it is kind of big, big print too, so not that bad, right? But anyway, check this out. We're gonna go nice and easy, and then the teacher can always stop the video anytime. Stop it, pause it, talk about it, have them, you know, ask questions, answer questions, whatever you want, and then pick up where you're left off. This is not, rocket science is not hard. You're gonna be studying something anyways. Might as well be helpology. And again, if you don't study helpology and you don't have the students learn it, then you're just going to be left behind. It's the information age. Everyone's going to be learning this stuff. You might as well help them at kindergarten. So then they're not like, why didn't you teach me? You know, help them if you can. And if you can't, then, you know, go behind their back anyway and do it. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. Do that. Because if they don't want you to help your children, then what's wrong with them? If you don't listen, if the people in authority say, no, you're not teaching them that. You got to be like, well, wait a minute. Why not? Um, you're going to see there's nothing in here that would be offensive or not even make sense. It's all common sense. If the educators above you are saying, no, you can't. You got to really wonder what the heck's going on, dude. That, that's like something really strange. <laughs> strange. You don't want these kids to get smarter. What's going on here? You don't want them to learn the helpology question. You don't want them asking what's the most helpful and simplest way that works. I'm going to ask that my myself, and I'm an adult. I'm going to start asking and answering that question. I want my children to know it. I'm going to teach everyone I know it. Well, they're not going to listen because it's, it's change. People don't like to change. But kids will change. They love it because they know inherently they got to change or they're going to stay kids, <laughs> right? So but adults, they don't like change. They're like, oh, I've been doing too much change my whole life. I don't want to keep changing. Arr! But anyway, if you do helpology, it's actually fun, and you'll love it. So... Get ready for a new life, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Are you ready? Raise your hands if you're ready. You're not all ready? And then I'm not reading it. Forget it. I'm going. Bye-bye. No, I'm just teasing you. But listen, I want everybody's hands up. I want you all paying attention. We're going to do it again. And then we'll start the book. I'm going to go through. And then I'm just going to go nice and easy and slow. And we'll see how long this video takes. But you know what? I'll read it as long as it takes, okay? I love you all that much. I don't care if it takes me 10, 20 hours to read it. I will do it that slow because I care about you. Okay, here we go. Hands and eyes. How to gain love, respect, happiness, health, and wealth. Personal perfection 
of your mind, your personal guide to continuous improvement. That means always making it a little better. Continuous improvement. Continuous means it's going to keep going. And improvement means make it better. So continuous improvement is always make it a little better. Okay. Again, by Dominic Ficini, CI Books. Dominic Ficini was my legal name. So the same guy. I'm, I'm, that's me. But I'm David Yah Christian now. Okay, but this is who I was. And you can tell right there, same dude. Right? Same guy. That's me when I was 24. I'm 52 now. Was born in 1969. Okay, that was the year we landed on the moon, right? That's when I was born. Okay, so check this out. Now we're going to see what's on the back. What is on the back? When you get a book, you want to read the cover. Then you want to flip it to the back and read what's on the back. Because it's going to tell you what's in the book. And then you decide if you want to read more, okay? Tell me after I read this, do you want to read more or not? If you don't want to read more, I will stop. I promise you. But if I did my job and I wrote a good book, raise your hands at the end if you want to learn this stuff. Ready? Here we go. Do you really want to learn this? This book will show you exactly how to gain love. Who wants love? Raise your hand. Okay. I'm going to just keep going now. I'm not going to ask everybody. Just, you know, in your mind, raise your hand in your mind. If you want all this stuff, okay? It'd be like, mm hmm, mm hmm. In fact, start shaking your head up and down if this is something you like. Okay. Everybody in the whole room is shaking their head. Yeah, of course. This is what everybody wants this stuff. I know I do. I'm going to keep wanting more. I know you do because this is common sense, right? Tell me, raise your hand if this is common sense. Everyone in the room. Okay, here we go. That's good. How to gain love, respect, now, respect is a big word. It's, you know, when you're in kindergarten, it's like, what is respect exactly? Well, we're going to define it in the book. It's going to tell you exactly what respect is. But it really has to do with that people, re, uh, they like what you're doing. If someone respects you, they like you. Okay? So that's, that's, that's that simple. Uh, happiness, health, and wealth. Now, when you hear wealth, you might be thinking money, money, money. And that's a big part of wealth, yes. But wealth is much more than just money. You're going to have different types of wealth, and we're going to study that in the book. Also, this book will show you exactly, not vaguely or some ideas. No, this, is, this book's going to show you exactly how to, what does it say here? Okay, I can't read it like that. How to avoid becoming unloved, disrespected, sad, sick, and poor. So you get to avoid that. This book will show you exactly how to use the unlimited power of your mind to get whatever you truly want. How to change any beliefs you have that are hurting you. How to set goals that gets you excited. And a goal is just saying, I would like this. I want to do this. When you say, I want to do this. I want to do that. Mommy, can I do this? Can I do that? I want to do this. That's a goal. Okay. When you want to do something, that's what a goal is. What questions you need to ask yourself in order to come up with great ideas how to make anything more valuable or helpful. Valuable means helpful or useful, but valuable, we could say helpful. So how to make anything more helpful. How your mind works. So how you think by asking and answering questions, right? How to have more control over your mind. What you need to do to continuously improve your mind. Why it's so important for you to continuously improve your mind. Where to find 
the absolute best products available on your mind today? And I can tell the answer to that's already, it's on YouTube. Just go to YouTube, go on the Helpology channel, you can find it there. You know, it's all free. This was written before the internet. So this was talking about before, but now I've got YouTube. So that's the easy answer right there. I can tell you right now, just go to YouTube on Helpology on YouTube and you're going to get the absolute best free products or services. It's just a service uh, available for your mind today. You've got to have the world's leading historical geniuses that have shared most wealthiest people in the world. Uh, you got people that are just good at making you want to do something. That's called motivation. Make you want to do it. There's people on there talking about it. There's people talking about how to make your change your, lose your weight, get, eat healthier. I mean, just it goes on and on. It's ridiculous. There's 25,000 plus videos. You'll never be able to watch it all, but it's there for you to watch when you feel like it. That's the power of Helpology and much, much more. CI Books, a division of CI Publishing. And then this means it was, uh, you know, it's a little barcode for when you buy it. Go ting. And then look at the price back then was $11.95 in 1994. Right? Is it? Can you see that? It's a little blurry. $11.95 in 1994. Today, this book would be worth about maybe $19.95. But the thing is, is it's free. You can't even buy this book anywhere. It's not, it's not printed anywhere. But who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll reprint it or something. But, you know, you don't need it. You're going to hear this video. I'm going to have it on my YouTube channel. Our YouTube, Me and Faith. It's going to be on our YouTube channel for you to watch over and over again for free. You don't have to buy the book. You just listen to it for free. I'm not here to try to make money with this. I'm here to help you for free because I'm trying to go down in history as the most helpful person of all time. And I'll tell you why that's hard to do. I've been working on it for 30 years. I'm getting tired. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not tired, actually. It makes me excited each day. But the thing is this. I'm not there yet. It's, I got a long way to go still. This, this has to be, there's a lot, a lot more for me to do in order to be able to say that I have earned that goal or reached that goal. But you guys can be part of my dream. When you guys do Helpology, it's going to be part of my dream come true. And then you're going to have new dreams that other people are going to do. And then when you see them do it, your dreams are going to come through by you helping them. You see? So you're a big part of Helpology right now. You're going to be a big part of making all my dreams come true. My dreams of becoming the most helpful person of all time. Now, here we go. This book will show you. We already read this, but I'm going to do it again. Why? Because repetition is the mother of skill. You don't just say, oh, that's we already read that. No. You say, are you sure you want to study this? Let's see, make sure. What is this? This book will show you exactly. Now all the adults are like, you're going to read it again? Yeah. The children need it again. Okay, just relax. Listen, you're a teacher. I'm a teacher. I happen to be at the master level of doing helpology, teaching the whole world. 25,000 plus videos. I used to be an elementary teacher. I taught third, second, and first grade at Nashville Global Academy back in 2009. So I know a little bit of how to teach children. So you got to be patient with them, right? You got to keep getting their attention, right? Hey, I see you back there. You're not like, over here. Hello. Just kidding. I know. I'm just playing with you. But pay attention, okay? You're going to learn something. It's going to change your life. It's going to make you happy, excited, feel better, healthier. You won't have the cavities anymore. No more dentists. Okay? So with this, we're going to keep going. And uh, it's going to take me like 20 hours to read this book. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I hope it doesn't take that long because I don't think my... Well, I might be able to record that long. I don't know. We'll see. If it stops or whatever, then we just have to make more than one video. But I'm going to do whatever it takes. See, I'm not in a hurry to do this. If you're in a hurry, you're going to miss it. How many know that if you're in a hurry with children, you're not going to be able to help them? Listen to the kids. They know what they're saying. So here we go. This book will show you exactly how to gain love, respect, happiness, health, and wealth. How to avoid becoming unloved, disrespected, sad, sick, and poor. How to use the unlimited power of your mind to 
get whatever you truly want. How to change any beliefs you have that are hurting you. How to set goals that get you excited. How to motivate yourself to continuously take action or bear with me here. It's hard to read this and and look over him. How to motivate yourself to take continuous action towards your goals. What questions you need to ask yourself in order to come up with great ideas. And we already taught you the one, the one you really need. I didn't have the helpology question when I wrote this book, by the way. The helpology question or H, you got H now. What's the most helpful and simplest way that works? That's the only question you need. But the ones in here, you know, they're good, but they're not like that. You, that's the one you need is the helpology question, the H. You need H. And if you forget it, just Google it. You'll find it on the internet for free. Google helpology, H-E-L-P-O-L-O-G-Y, and you'll learn it all and all for free. You can go at your own pace. You can go as slow as you want or as fast as you want. How to make anything more valuable or helpful. How your mind works. How to have more control over your mind. What you need to do to continuously improve or make better your mind and your thoughts. Why it's so important to always improve your mind. The word is continuously, but it means always. So why it's important for you to continuously, always improve, make better your mind. Where to find the absolute best or most helpful products available on your mind today? And again, the answer is actually just on YouTube, on Helpology on YouTube and other YouTube channels. You know, there's stuff all over the place, but it would be on YouTube, definitely. And much, much more. So you can go buy books and, on Amazon and read them and stuff, but you can go listen to f- videos for free on YouTube. <laughs> and you'll have people reading the book to you for free. You don't have to spend money on stuff anymore with YouTube. Come on, it's all free now. Okay, here's, we're going to go, and I might not read, I don't know, we'll read this. This is important for educators to know we could do this in the future if needed, need be. And, and President Biden as well, if the government wants to help. Quantity sales, CI books. And by the way, students, this is for you to learn how to do business. You want to study business. You read a book and you start learning what the book says. That's how the business people make money in the books. You want to learn from that and say, well, one day I could write a book and make money that way too. See, as a kindergartner, you want to learn this stuff. Young gives you ideas when you're young, how to make money later. Quantity sales. Quantity means more than one. More than one sale. CI books are available at special quantity discounts when purchased in bulk by corporations, or that's businesses, organizations, or groups. For more information, write to CI Books, P.O. Box 601, Department 100, Bloomfield Hills, Michigan, 480-3030601. Attention, Director, Diversified Sales. I got to tell you right now, that address is no longer, at, it doesn't exist. In fact, there is no way to get quantity sales unless you contact me through my YouTube channel or me and Faith through our YouTube channel. And then we'd have to, you know, create some way to do it. Probably just do it on Amazon. Amazon has what's called Create Space. You can just you digitally create a book. And by the way, little ones, you want to learn this. And when you grow up, you can, for free, you can write a book and put it on the internet through a business. Don't worry about the name of it right now because it might change. But through Amazon, you can write a book, put it up there, sell it, and not have it made yet. Ah. And then when they sell one copy, they print it, they ship it, and they give you some of the money, and they take some of the money. So it's not like before where you'd have to print a whole bunch of books up. And uh, No, no, you don't even have to print any books, and it doesn't cost you any money to do it. So that's what we could just do if they want that. If anyone wants more copies of the book for whatever reason, which again, I would just use the video. Don't, but some students need to read, you know, and they're going to learn better that way. Just contact us, and we'll figure out something. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Everyone in the world. We'll get it translated in different languages and everything, but that's going to be, you know, partnerships with governments and stuff. 
they're going to have to put up the money. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Please specify how you intend to use the books. I'm trying to make sure that this page is read. Good. Okay, there we go. Uh, again, this is not applicable, but we still want to read it for, for learning purposes. We want to see, okay, how do you make money with a book? You write down, please specify how you intend to use the books, promotion, resale, fundraising, etc. Individual sales. Are there any CI books you want but cannot find in your bookstore? <laughs> There's no bookstores anymore. It's got Amazon now. Look how old this book is. If so, you can order them directly. Well, there's some bookstores, but I'm just saying, they a lot of them closed. Uh, if so, you can order them directly from us. You can get any CI book currently in print for a complete up-to-date listing of our books and information on how to order right to CI books, same address. But that's not valid anymore. But we just want to read that. Another reason we're reading everything in this book is called Attention to Detail. And it's also called Doing Things the Right Way and Being Thorough and Precise. See, when you learn something, you want to go through the whole thing. You don't want to skip stuff. If you start skipping things, you might miss the most important thing in the book because you thought you could skip it. Now, how silly would that be, right? So you just want to have a habit. You want to develop the habit of going nice and slow. Don't rush yourself. Take your time. Learn every little bit about something. Go slow through it. And then you'll save your time and money later, not having to do it again and again and again. Although you might want to repeat things for repetition because it's the mother of skill. It's going to teach you better. But you don't want to be like, oh, I read that whole book, but I missed the most important parts because I thought I could skip it. Come on, don't, that's silly. Don't ever, that's a bad habit. Let's change it right now. So then we go like this. What is this? It's the title page again. How to gain love, respect, happiness, health, and wealth, personal perfection of your mind. Dominic Facini, CI Books. A division of continuous improvement publishing. Now we know what CI stood for. CI Books. CI stood for continuous improvement. And that means always making things a little better. Continuous is, it doesn't stop. And improvement is making it better. A little bit better each time, not a lot, just a little bit. Okay, now, oh my gosh, do are we, are we gonna read all that? No, let's just skip it. Oh, David, yeah, please, David, yeah, Christian, please don't read that to the children. Yes, I'm reading it to the children. I think I know a little bit better than you do. <laughs> I'm the founder of Helpology. Listen, okay? Pay attention and learn something. I'm just teasing y'all. I love you guys. It goes like this. I'm explaining why. You want to learn about copyright and you want to find out what they say and where it goes and how to make money writing a book. This is going to, you're learning at kindergarten level. This is going to be awesome. You, many of you will write books growing up because of this. When I was in fifth and sixth grade, I had a teacher named Mr. Leader. He had us write book. He had us write a book in fifth grade and in sixth grade. I, got, I was so lucky to have him two years in a row. Best teacher I ever had, except maybe Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins is a little better, but this guy was great, loved us, taught us so many things. His name was Mr. Leader, and he taught us, okay, every year you're writing a book. Yeah, not every teacher had you write a book, but our teacher did. So we wrote a book. So I wrote two books when I was in fifth grade, once in fifth grade and then once in sixth grade. Well, I grew up and I wrote two books. I wrote this book. How to Gain Love, Respect, Happiness, Health, and Wealth. And the second book I wrote is Dave Christian's Helpology. So I wrote two books in elementary school, fifth and sixth grade. And then I made me believe I could do it. And I grew up and Tony Robbins helped me believe in myself. And then I wrote two books as a grown up. So if you write a book in an elementary school, you may end up writing a book as an adult too. But I got good news for you. You don't have to write a book in kindergarten or elementary or anything to write a book. Once you keep doing Helpology, a book will come out. Maybe more. Probably more than one book. Because you'll start thinking, oh my gosh, I got so much to teach people now because I know so much. And it's going to, you know, you'll be studying your whole life learning stuff. But you're going to be having fun. You're going to be having fun learning. It's not going to be work. Just like when you watch your cartoons, you want to do it. You're having fun. That's what Helpology is fun. Remember that. You're going to enjoy it. This is different than anything you've ever seen before. This is not your typical boring stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. 
How to gain love, respect, happiness, health, and wealth. Personal perfection of your mind. Copyright 1994. I wasn't kidding. That's a long time ago. By Dominic Ficini. Published in the United States by CI Books, a division of CI Publishing. See, this is an American creation. This is from our country, the greatest country in the world for freedom, creativity, business. Well, some would argue that now, but maybe we'll be the best again. I don't know. But you guys, it's up to you guys, the little ones here. We're doing the best we can with what we know, but we're hoping that the little ones here do better than we did, okay? Because we're starting to lose our number one, you know? China's doing real good, and a lot of other countries are, you know... We're not the smartest anymore, you know? And our schools, man, we need to improve. Maybe Helpology will change it. Or let's just ignore it and not do anything and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I know. You guys are looking at me like, what? Yeah, I'm just joking. Of course we should do Helpology. Let's change the world. Let's change America. Everyone should get on board with this right away. And they will, won't they? Say yes, even if you don't want to. Just say, okay, let's try it anyway. What do we got to freaking lose, right? Look, all the kids are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's take a clue from the children, all right? Copyright 1994 by Dominic Faccini. Published in the United States by CI Books, a division of CI Publishing. All rights reserved. No part of this book may be used, reproduced, or transmitted in any form or by any means electronic, mechanical, without or photocopying recording which is what we're doing right now right recording or by any informational storage and retrieval system boy that covers everything doesn't it brief quotations embodied in critical article what we've skipped the part here listen how we got to do this let's start over when you make a mistake listen when you make a mistake it's okay relax Everybody does it. We are going to keep making lots of mistakes. All you do is just start over and say, okay, made a mistake. Sorry. Let them know. Sorry. But they're like, oh, it's going to take forever. What else you got that's better than this? You're going to teach them something else that's going to be more helpful? Then do it. Shut it off and go teach them whatever you're going to teach them. <laughs> We're going to teach them how to gain love, respect, happiness, health, and wealth. So we're going to take however long it takes. I'm going to sacrifice my personal time and do this for America. And because I love the kids and I love the teachers, but I love the kids more. Why? Because they listen to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the teachers, like they know everything all right. They don't want to, I don't want to. The kids are like, what, what, what? So let's take a clue from the kiddies. All right. All rights reserved. No part of this book may be used, reproduced, or transmitted in any form or by any means, electronic, mechanical, photocopying, recording, or by any informational storage and retrieval system without the prior written permission from the publisher, except in the case of brief quotations, brief is small, quotations, something that was said in the book, embodied or put in in critical articles, that would mean articles that talk about something, and reviews, like in the news. For information, write to CI Books PO Box 601, Bloomfield Hills, Michigan 48303-0601. Notice how I read everything, the whole address and then everything? That's called attention to detail. And that's a habit I developed a long time ago. I knew that it was the same address. I knew it was wrong and it's not even a good address. But I don't have the bad habit of saying, oh, let's just skip it. Because you do that and you get that habit going, oh, let's just skip it. Next thing you know, you're skipping the whole book. Oh, how to gain love, respect. I know that already. How to gain love, respect. Happen, you know, everybody knows that. I'm going to skip it. Yeah, that's why we don't skip anything, okay? Attention to detail. Guess where I learned that one? I was a Marine. That's why I got this flag on my wall. I was a Marine, okay? I became a United States Marine. They taught us attention to detail. Because if you don't have attention to detail, you might go to war and someone might get killed because you forgot to do something. And then now it blew up on them or they got shot and it was your fault. So they teach you attention to detail as a Marine. So I'm a Marine Iraq war veteran disabled. So what I do now is I still have that habit and I'm going to make sure you get that habit. Attention to detail. Okay. Go nice and slow. Don't rush yourself. 
enjoy it, have fun. It's a marathon, not a sprint, okay? You're not trying to do a quick run. You're trying to go a long distance your whole life. Relax, slow down, stretch a little. Feel better, okay? Take some deep breaths. Take a break, go do something else. In fact, right now would be a good time to shut off the video and take a recess. Okay, we'll come back when you're ready. Okay, here we're back. Now, here we go. See how we're teaching, listen. Hands and eyes. Very good, okay. I'm showing you by example. I'm teaching you by example. And then I'm explaining it. So then you get it. And you'll be like, oh, okay. I see. When you grow up, if anyone tells you, oh, don't read the front of the book. You don't need to know that stuff. Read it anyway. Read it anyway. What do you got to lose except maybe five minutes? When I've read the book, front of every book I read. And I read more than 500 books growing up. When I read these books, I read the front of every book. It made me learn where the books come from. How they make money with the book. It made me start thinking about making my own books and I made two and wrote two of them. And so just listen, trust me, read everything in the book, not just the, the big parts, okay? You'll be better off for it. You'll be wiser than the next person. You'll make more money. You'll help more people. Just read everything. Become a lover of reading. You know what they say? Readers are leaders. If you're not a reader, you're not going to be doing much with your life. Trust me. Well, you might be able to these days by watching YouTube. But anyway, you want to do both. You want to watch YouTube. You want to watch your cartoons. You want to do this and you want to read. You want to come to where you love reading. Oh, I got to keep reading. I want to read more now. I want to read more. I want to read more. Or I want to watch more YouTube videos. I want to learn. I want to have fun learning. That's what you want. You don't want to be like, oh, I just want to watch cartoons and go run out and play and that's it. Because then you're going to be left behind. We're in the information age, people. <laughs> I know you know how complicated it is already. You know how complex it is. There's information that's growing all the time. Brrr. Information is going like this. Brrr. And if you're like, oh, blah, 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 I don't want to learn any of that, blah, 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 you're left behind, dude. Forget it. You're going to end up being broke, poor, maybe homeless, in a shelter somewhere, being, I don't know how to take care of myself and my family. Well, because you didn't pay attention in school, <laughs> right? I didn't want to learn. I pretended I was learning, but I didn't learn anything on purpose. I don't get them. I just want to learn. You're getting yourself, dude. Trust me. You want to learn this stuff. This stuff is actually going to help change your life. So pay attention. Learn to have fun learning. Have fun. Get excited about your life and your future and how anything's possible. And then stay like that your whole life. Don't change when you become an adult. Remember what we taught you now. Remember what you learn now. Life's an adventure. It's an exciting adventure. It can become anything you want. This book's gonna show you how. Plus you got Helpology too now. When I grew up, there was not Helpology on YouTube. You got Helpology on YouTube, you guys. You're gonna be able to do whatever you want. It's gonna be awesome. So get excited. This is your life. This is America. This is, we're gonna be, by the way, I'm sharing this with you from Detroit, greater Metro Detroit. So we're gonna, you know, Detroit's gonna become well known for Helpology not just being the murder capital of the world, okay? It's gonna be known for helpology. Like Oprah was out of Chicago and the movies come out of Hollywood. They're gonna say, helpology came out of Detroit. <laughs> They're gonna be like, what? <laughs> Can anything good come out of Detroit? And they'll be like, yeah, helpology. <laughs> so anyways, here we go. We're gonna say, what are we reading here? Library of Congress catalog number. The Library of Congress catalog number is, there's a library our government has that anyone that writes a book, it goes, a copy goes in there. They got every book written. Huh. It's called the Library of Congress. It's where our Congress is. This is their library, dude. They got every book in there that everyone writes because you got to get this catalog number to, to sell it and stuff. So our government's very smart. When you want to write a book, you got to get the catalog number, the Library of Congress catalog number. Mine was 9394241. And then they get a copy of it. You got to mail them a copy, register it. They take that copy, put it in their library. And now they got everybody's book. Just in case 
a really good book gets written. They want to have it in their library, wouldn't you? Okay, well, this one got in their library. They didn't even know about it. <laughs> it went in their library and they're like, blah, 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 blah. we don't need that one. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> you watching, watch, watch when this book changes the whole world. You're going to be like, yeah, 1994. We should have we taken notice of that. But listen, they're too busy, okay? You don't expect the government to be like, oh, oh my gosh, it's a new book. We got to put it in the schools. No, it's my responsibility to get it in there. And it wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. It took a long time. But now we're ready. Can you tell I'm ready? I'm excited. Are you excited? If you're not excited, get excited. Because this is exciting. Okay, now here we go. Woo! Let's see, what's next? ISBN. Oh my gosh, what's an ISBN? I don't even know for sure. I think it's international standard something number. I don't remember, but it's something. You can Google it. ISBN. That was the number, 1-8-8-4-7-5-5-0-0-3. Notice I'm reading all the numbers. You don't need to know those numbers, kitties. I'm not doing it so you know the numbers. I'm doing it so you learn how to read a book. See, I'm teaching you much more than what the, is in this book. I'm going to share my secrets with you right now. The reason this book is going to change the world is because every educator that hears this video is going to say, wait a minute. This David Yah Christian guy is doing more than teaching that book. He's teaching how to teach. He's teaching how to read. He's teaching how to slow down. He's teaching how to love a student. He's teaching everything in one video. And they're going to be like, ding, 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 ding. Oh, yeah, I have to share it with my kids. I don't care if I get fired. I'm sharing it. And you won't get fired. What, are they going to fire you for helping your kids? They're not going to fire you. They might be a little upset with you at first, but you did it behind their back. Say, listen. I will never do it again. <laughs> You'll be too late now, right? You'll, listen, better to ask for forgiveness than permission when it's something really helpful. If it's not helpful, it's illegal, or it's got something in there like religious or something, uh, hate speech or something, that's, which it doesn't. If it did, then you wouldn't want to do it behind their back. You'll get fired. But there's nothing in here except common sense. There's no reason they should say no. But they probably will because they got to all agree in their boardroom for it to go on the curriculum. And they're going to only pick the curriculum. They're getting paid by the government to do certain things. And oh, well, this is our curriculum. Can't add to it, dude. We're already, we're already full. So, dude, don't expect – if you go to the board of directors, if you go to your principal and say, can I read this in the classroom or what? No. Can I share this video with the class? He's going to say, no. No. No, 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 no. And you, but it's – no, I don't even care what's on it. Just get out of my office. Dude, do not expect it. Listen, it's not their fault. They got certain rules they got to follow. But what I'm saying is, as an American, it's your duty to educate these kindergartners. And anyone watching this video in the world, it is your duty and responsibility as an educator to teach these children this common sense knowledge and wisdom. If you don't, you're going to have to remember that the rest of your life, that you didn't rise to the occasion. You didn't change education when you could have. Don't, don't, don't get me started on, go, oh, man, I'm not going to get upset. Because there's going to be a lot of people that are just like, oh, I just, I don't have the, the guts to do it. I, I got to wait for permission from this principal. And it's going to be like, dude, you missed out, man. You just missed out because you didn't have the guts to teach the kids what they need. But listen, I'm teaching you all. I'm teaching you. Sometimes you got to say, wait a minute. This is important. We got to do this. So here we go. Cover design by Dominic Ficini. Text design by Dominic Ficini. Are you noticing something here? Proof read by Dominic Ficini. Edited by Dominic Ficini. Indexed by Dominic Ficini. Cover photo by someone else, finally. Okay, someone else did something, right? Anthony C. Licata III. And here's their company. Photography by Lakata, 39979 Van Dyke, Sterling Heights, Michigan, 48313-4631, 313-939-1000. Now, I don't know if they're still in business, but if you just Google Lakata, L-I-C-A-T-A, -A, if you ever want to use them, that's, um, I think they would deserve business if they helped me do mine. They helped me for free. This cover photo here, they took my picture. In fact, he's on Facebook right now if you ever want to thank him. Anthony C. Licata III, you can find him on Facebook. 
Anthony C. Licata III. He took that picture for free for me because I didn't have the money at the time. And he took the picture, said, he said, I'll do it for free, man. And so he gave me that picture. So thank you, Anthony C. Licata III on Facebook. Thank you for helping me when I couldn't help myself. Appreciate that. Because now today we're making a difference. All these years later, man. Remember, bro? You remember you took that picture? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. He was a good friend of mine in school. I got to tell you what, I'm getting tired already. It's, a, it's been a little while already. I'll tell you exactly what's going on. It's been one hour and 35 minutes already, and we didn't even start the book yet. But think about what you learned. If we don't even read the book, you've learned so much. You know there's a YouTube channel called Helpology that you can go and access for free for the rest of your life with more than 25,000 videos. That alone is going to change your life. You don't need this book anymore. Not to mention, this book will be on there recorded for you. So you can go watch it there later. Five, ten years from now or whatever. However much time we got. Anyways, what else? I'm trying to recap this because I might break this up and make more, more than one video out of it. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop this video. It's going to be the intro video that you can start getting excited about what's going to be in here. But I'm tired. i got to take a break. Okay, I thought I was going to be like, Superman, No. I'm just human, all right? I'm disabled. I got problems. Right? So anyways, this was fun. This is exciting. I'm going to recap real quick what we did and what we're going to do. So when you teach or when you speak, you want to tell them what you're going to tell them. You want to tell them. And then you want to tell them what you told them. Okay, let me say that again. Whenever you do a public speaking or you teach something, there's three things you want to do. You want to tell them what you're going to tell them. And then you want to tell them. And then you want to tell them what you told them. Okay, that's a good public speaking. I learned that a long time ago. Someone else taught me that. So anyways, let's review what we did. I told you what we were going to do. So I tell them what you're going to tell them. I said, I'm going to tell you guys, we're going to read this book. And I'm going to tell you about helpology and who I am, this and that. I'm from Detroit. I've got my fiance named Faith. She's in the Philippines. Helpology is the study of what's most helpful. There's also a big person definition of it. That's on the internet. Don't worry about that. The big person definition is, is a little more complicated, but that's for when you're a big person. When you're little, you need the kindergarten definition is helpology is the study of what's most helpful. So you got that. So I'm telling you what we what we did. And so we're going to tell them. We told them what we told. Now, we're going to read the book, but then we didn't get to read it yet. It's going to be on the next video. And who knows, I might have to make 10, 20 videos. I don't care how many it takes. Just know this, I'm committed, okay? I'm gonna take care of you guys. I'm gonna teach this for the world. So get ready, it's coming. And it will. I guarantee you this right now. Read my lips. This will change the world virally. It will become a viral video for all educators in the world. Why? Because by definition, they're going to want to help their students. And helpology is the study of what's most helpful. And when they start researching what that is, that Einstein said the best design is the simplest one that works. And that we discovered, Faith and I discovered a question called the helpology question that you can ask and answer to where you'll think like Einstein. You're going to think like a genius. Oh, no, don't tell them that. Don't, we don't want the kids to learn that. They might get too smart. Come on now. You're going to want them to learn this stuff. It's going to be common sense. It's going to become a household name, Helpology. Everyone's going to go to YouTube. They're going to start learning all this stuff. A lot of people will be like, ah, la, la, I don't want to hear it. Don't want to know about it. It's not publicly. It's not popular yet. So it's not good. Listen, it's going to happen without you. It's going to go right around you. Woo, woo. You can get on board and join in the beginning, or you can be left behind and then be five, 10 years behind. It's up to you. It's none of my business what you do. You know, I'm trying to help you. You got to learn. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Listen, students, have you ever heard that? It's a really good saying. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. What does that mean? Okay, listen, you can want to help someone. You can create the most helpful thing in the world. You can put it on YouTube for free. You can have 25,000 videos there. You can have a book you're going to read for free. You can have another book I wrote, Dave Christian's Helpology, that I'm also going to, it's already read for free and recorded on there, but I'm going to reread it again. I recorded it like four or five years ago. 
uh, and I had a beard and different things. So I'm going to re-record it now again. So you could do all this stuff. So you can lead a horse to the water. You can be like, look, here's Helpology. Here's the books. There's both for free, da, da, da. But you can't make them listen to it. All you got to do is click off and go watch a game show, you know, or the news and make them think, oh, I'm learning the news. Yeah, you're learning the news, but you're not learning Helpology. You know, the news is not teaching you even about Helpology yet. They will. It's going to become very popular. It has to be. By definition, it will become viral. That's the beauty of it. When you do something properly and you create it properly, it will help and it will become popular. Just like Facebook, Google, Amazon. They created these things on purpose to become popular. Faith and I created Helpology on purpose to become the most helpful service of all time, period. There's nothing anyone can do or will do that's going to be more helpful and simpler way that works than what we're doing with Helpology. Why? Because everything you mention that's helpful is on these videos. When you go and watch them, you're going to be like, oh my gosh. Here I thought, you know, I believe in this and it can't be more helpful than that. Oh, but he's got videos on it in there. Yeah, this is going to blow your mind. But again, you could just ignore it if you want. Maybe it'll go away. <laughs> Maybe Helpology will just, nothing will come of it. We'll see. Time will tell. But I'll bet if I was a betting man, and I'm not, but I'll bet it's going to become a household name like Coca-Cola or Pepsi within, I'd say, one to three years, probably. Hopefully six months to a year. But listen, it takes time. So anyways, what we did was we, so I'm going to tell you, I told you, tell you what I told you. We were going to read this book and we're going to finish it, you know, however many videos it takes. We're going to get into the good stuff later. Right now I'm tired, so I got to take a break. I'm only human. But who am I? I'm David Yah Christian. My fiance's name is Faith Yah Christian. She's in the Philippines. And we're engaged to be married. We don't know when we're going to get married. It might be six months to two years. It depends on how soon we can. There's certain things that we got to do first. She's in another country. You can't, I just can't, we can't legally just get married. It's, it takes time. And so... I'm getting tired and I got to take a break. Okay. <laughs> okay. Listen, students, it was fun sharing with you what we've, what we've shared so far. We've already recapped what we were going to do. So I told you, I told you what I told you. And then I, so tell them, tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, tell them what you told them. And so I, I'm telling you what I told you, which is we were going to study that book. I was reading it for free. I was the founder of Helpology and my faith, faith is also the co-founder um, and so I'm going to end this video now and I want you to get excited about what's coming next. So thank you for your time and let's make America great again. President Biden, come on, step up. Let's do it. If you don't do it, you're going to go down in history as the president that didn't get helpology into the schools. Better to be the one that got it in as opposed to the one that missed out. Okay. So here you go. Thank you and have a wonderful day day. Remember to always ask, what's the most helpful and simplest way that works?